It's your girl T. I'm not going to be me and I'm coming at you this morning with a, a recipe. Today, what well, I'm making is some salmon croquettes. This right here is going to be a series of videos that I am putting together, Grandma and I. And what it's going to be called is Tiana and Grandma's Southern Food Show. Okay, and it's going to be different episodes. So this is episode one of our Tiana and Grandma's Southern Food Show. I, what we're going to be doing is I I have a list of things that I'm going to be coming and making for y'all. And Grandma have a list of things that she's going to be making for y'all. So I hope you enjoy this. Welcome if you is new. I also have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. I would love if you go over there and show my second channel some love. The link is in the description. And if you need the spelling, it's B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. C-L-E-A-N-I-N-G. That's why I put all my cleaning videos, organization, decoration. Just get your house together, get it back together. Just do what you need to do in your house type videos. Okay? So I hope you uh, go over to that channel and subscribe. I thank you for coming and I hope you enjoy yourself. What? Oh, and also, this is a live video. Okay? So I'm just going to let you know it might be a little lengthy because I do live cooking vlogs. Alright? So thank you for coming. Enjoy yourself. What's up, family? Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Y'all better put the ding on the dong, rain the dough bell. It's your girl T. Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Friday. Hope you're having a good day. How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Long time. Hey, y'all. It's your girl. It's your sugar. It's your honey bun. It's the only one. I can only be me. How you doing today? 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 How you doing? 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 Now we got all that understood and established, honey. That's all. <laughs> What's up, JC? Hold up. What's up, Trinice, Miss Marshall, me and Fol Tanya, Latika, uh, Starla, Monique, Trinice, JC, e uh, Eclectic, Jane Doe, Davisha, Lynn Lane, Miss Gloria, Jane Doe. And Miss Virginia Fuller. What's up, y'all? Good morning, my family. And Brenda and uh, Darcel Brennan. Welcome to the family, Darcel. Happy to have you, boo. Y'all welcome uh, Darcel to the family. Yes. All right, y'all. So, today is episode one of Tiana and Grandma's Southern Cooking Show. I hope y'all uh, enjoy this right here, y'all. What I'm going to be making this morning for us is some salmon croquettes. And uh, some salmon croquettes and uh, some grits and eggs. That's what I'm making. You welcome, boo. Salmon croquettes, grits, and eggs. All right. So, we're going to go ahead on. And get it poppin'. Get it poppin'. Get it. Y'all in a good mood today? I'm in a good mood. 
a really good mood. Get my seasonings down real quick. Yes, Lord. Whether happy or sad. You better give him his praise. You watched the replay last night. You and Grandma had me rolling. No, my neighbors was upset. <laughs> I had fun last night. Yes. You had that last Saturday for breakfast. Hot damn, what, Tika? That's good, Miss Darcel. That's what you're supposed to feel coming over here. With rice and biscuits, girl. I love it with rice. Oh, child. Oh, I love it with rice. Yes, honey. Gonna make me want to make some rice. I sure have that for the, um, um, y'all know I will. Y'all know I will, honey. <sighs> she so will. Okay. So let me give y'all a Friday word. Let me see. I posted one for y'all. Yeah, did you see it on the community post? Let's see what else I got dying up in there. Is Miss Irene here? Did she make it yet? Did you make it yet, Miss Irene? Y'all, I like these uh, ones Miss Irene be sending me. Let's see. I'm going to read one of them. I was going to ask her, could I? But I'm quite sure she probably wouldn't mind. Let me read one of them. Okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I love this. I had to call my husband at work. Like, baby, hold up. Let me read this to you, baby. Okay, here, here's one, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time. That mean hit the thumbs up the like button. Who calling? Somebody, oh, hey, I don't even know you. You from Michigan. All right. Subject is today's blessing word. Nothing happens until you speak. Nothing happens until you speak. Today's scripture comes from Psalms 107 verse 2. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Today's word in Luke 1, when an angel told Zechariah that his wife Elizabeth was going to have a baby, he said, how can I be sure of this? We're too old now. The angel said, it's going to happen, but now you will be silent and not able to speak until this day happens. That's how powerful words are. God knew that if Zechariah went around speaking words of defeat, such as, this isn't possible, that will stop the promise. God has spoken promises to your spirit that may seem impossible. Don't talk yourself out of the miracle. Your words have creative power. Your words 
have creative power. Just like when they say the tongue got power. Okay. When you speak something out, you've given it the right to come to pass. It's one thing to believe you're healed. But when you say, I'm healed, that releases the healing. It's not enough to just believe you have favor or that you're going to fulfill your dreams. Nothing happens until you speak. Get in agreement with God. Dare to declare what he put in your heart. Okay, so the prayer for the day. Father, thank you for the promises you have spoken to my spirit. Thank you that I can speak words of faith that agree with your promises and give them the right to come to pass. I will use my words to invite good things into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen and amen again to that. So once again, basically to sum it all up, the tongue has power. Don't speak negativity over your life. Don't, uh... As long as you as long as you speak negative things, negative will come. As long as you speak negative things and you looking for positive, that's stopping your blessings. If you believe that you want something and you saying that you ain't gonna get it because it took this long, or you ain't got it, or you at a certain age, or you this old. You speaking that negativity, you stopping your own blessings. Because the only thing God wants you to, to do is zip your lips and believe him. Believe that he will give you the desires of your heart. Believe them that believe him, believe in him and believe that nothing is too big for him. Believe that what you ask him for, he will give it to you. But not in your time. In his time. Amen. Alright now. So I thank uh, Miss Irene for that. She be sending me a lot of pretty stuff, y'all. I'm going um, to start sharing it with y'all. Okay. So, yeah, I was like, I had to call my husband, honey. I had to tell him. You know, because I told y'all. I did tell y'all before. You know, my husband, he and his he he and he, he and his feelings about, you know, the fact that we ain't got kids and stuff like that. And, you know, he, he think that it's not going to happen for him. But I tell him all the time. But you can't be thinking like that because what if God is trying to do this for you and you constantly saying, oh, I, I, I we ain't going to have no kids or it ain't happened for me yet. Everybody else having kids, but it ain't happened for me yet. I ain't going to have no kids, stuff like that. Stop thinking like that. Stop talking like that. You stopping your own blessings. I tell him that all the time. You stopping your own blessing. God probably want to bless you, but he only want to believe. He only want to know that you believe that he going to give it to you. But if God bless us with a child right now in the way that you thinking, he probably think that you probably ain't going to believe it was him that gave it to you. You know what I'm saying? Everything, children is blessings. So at the same, at the same, what I tell him, believe that God going to do it. In order to have faith, it, it means to look crazy sometimes, you know? You look crazy to others by believing. Believing in what you can't see. Believing in things that never happen. But as long as you believe, God, God going to work that thing on out for you. Because you believe that he going to do it, you know? And that's just how I see it, you know? What's wrong with believing in the right things? You believe in bad things. So why not take a step into faith and believe in what's right? Good morning, MJ. All right. So, all right. So what I, whoop, let me wash my hands real quick. Y'all ring the doorbell. Good morning, Donnie. Good morning, y'all. I know it's probably afternoon for some of y'all, but I'm still in the morning.
Just like that song say. I was just singing it. I'll praise you through the good and the bad. I'll praise you whether happy or sad. Praise them. Through it all. Praise them through it all. He, he wants you to praise them. Sometimes it might seem hard to do so. But do it. Do it when you, when you think you just can't. What's up, hands? What's up, hands from India? Welcome. Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Dee Dee. Good morning, Cordell. All right. Y'all, I do cooking vlogs over here. For those of you, if this is your first time, I thank y'all for coming. I do cooking vlogs, not cooking show. Well, this is gonna be, it's, it's a show this time. <laughs> but it's still a show slash vlog, okay? y'all cook good this morning. Good morning, best yet. Go ahead on to get my grits going. Grandma in the bed. Okay. I'm going to get y'all. Hold up. Let me pin the link to my second channel, Tiana Girl. I was tipsy as hell last night. So I really didn't understand what was what. What you were saying last night about cooking dish from back in the day. Uh, go back and watch that video, Dee Dee Fummy. Go back and watch the video. Cause we talked about a lot of stuff on that topic. Hold on, family. Give me a second. I'm trying to pin the link for you. Getting the link to the wrong one, child. Hold up, child. Hold, 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 hold. Go back.
Hold on, y'all. Give me just. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Okay. Thank y'all for coming, all 60 of y'all. If y'all don't mind, please run the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time. When I say run the doorbell, that mean hit the thumbs up, the like button. If you don't know what that is. I thank y'all for coming. If you was new, welcome to the family. If you was new, if you was new, let me know so that I can welcome you to the family. Good morning, uh, Mercedes and Shanita. Uh, if you was new, let me know so that I can welcome you to the family. That's the link I just put in the comment section, y'all. And I'm pinning it up at the top. So, the only thing you got to do is click on it and it'll take you right there. All right. So, the ingredients that you're going to need for this right here, for salmon croquettes, y'all, is you're going to need you a can of salmon. But, I'm going to tell y'all the, the, the cheap route and it tastes the same. Get you some mackerel. Can of mackerel. And you can find them right at the Dollar Tree. Let me turn that down. Oh, uh, get your. You're going to watch it later. Tell me what you have to do. You're going to watch it later. I just. Hold on. Tiana, you're going to watch it later. Just tell me what you have. No, it ain't nothing that you're going to have to do. It's what me and Grandma are doing, Didi. That's all. Me and Grandma come, done came up with this cooking series that we got going on. It's, I mean, cooking show. A couple of, uh, it's, it's some recipes that Grandma and I got. We got, I, I got my list. She got her list of stuff that we're going to be doing. And so, right here. And so what we're going to do is every time we, we're going to make the stuff that's on our list, this grandma list, and this is my list. Okay. And so we're going to be make the, making the stuff that we came up with last night on the list. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. And so we named it, uh, Tiana and grandma's Southern cooking show. And it's going to be different episodes. No, you don't have to make nothing. This just for me and grandma. For y'all. But I asked that if y'all want to, y'all try the recipes and stuff like that. And send me a picture to my email. And uh, I will put you on my on my community post. Though your picture of your recipe. The, I mean, of what you made. On my community post. You know, just sharing y'all. All right, so I got my can of mackerel. You're going to need you some mackerel or you're going to need you some pink salmon or something. <gasps> Hold up. Let me get my grits on real quick. I got to slide y'all up. Let me get my grits on because salmon, don't, these don't take as long to cook. So I know we go ahead on. Oh, shoot. And get my croquettes going. I need to put me some grits down here on the counter in this thing. Whew. Child, I be struggling. <sighs> so, about to get my grits. I'm going to turn that down because once that water starts boiling, you don't need to um, keep it up on high. 
grease going to pop the mess out you. Good morning, well bun. That's all right, Didi. I know you had told me last night. It's all right. That's why I said go and watch it because you'll see what all we was talking about and, and stuff like that, you know, as far as that go. How, the name and all that stuff. We talked about a lot of stuff on that topic, so I ain't going to have the time to tell you everything. That's why I'm telling you go watch the video. So you want to stir at the same time you add your grits. Don't add your grits faster than you stirring because that's how you end up with lumps and stuff. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go ahead on and add my black pepper and my salt. Make enough for you. You know I got you. You know I got you. And then we're going to put some salt. Then the butter. And so I let them cook a little bit and then thicken up a little bit. And then I add milk to my grits. Y'all already know that though. I like milk in my grits. Honey baby, if you don't know. You better get with it, honey, because that milk, it give your grits that extra creaminess. I told y'all I messed around and used milk one day and got hooked. And I can't eat grits now without milk. It's almost like eating grits without cheese if you're a cheese lover. If you love cheese in your grits, mess around and use that milk and see what happens. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this juice and drain it off of these croquettes, this salmon I mean. Okay, then I'm going to take that, add it to my bowl. Your salmon have bones in it. They is very, very soft, almost like as if eating sardines or something. Tiana, I will look at it later. Okay. Uh, they uh almost like sardines or something, you know. So, what you're going to do is split them right here down the middle, and you just pull your bones out. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. You don't have to, but I do. You ain't going to taste them anyway, but... Just slide them out. They come out real easy because they feel real soft. And I'm just going to do this to all of them. What a perfect day to do the salmon croquettes because y'all know I like to do fish on Fridays. So today was a good day to do the salmon croquettes. Y'all, for some reason, I can't see that good this morning. I think I don't. I think I know what I did. I bet I know what it is, though. I had got a little glue in my eye on top of this dog on contact. I thought I had got it all out, and so it got my eye a little blurry a little bit. But I got it out. I thought I did. 
All right, so we got that. So now what you're going to need you is Depends on how much you making, but I got one can, so one egg. Crack you one egg in there. Then you're going to take you a little seasoning. So I got me some complete seasoning. I don't measure. I just pull y'all. So I'm just going to give you a guide of what I use, and you just take that and run with it, okay? Complete seasoning, onion powder. You can add you some lemon pepper to it if you want to. You know lemon pepper is good with fish, y'all. Um, yes, yeah, 12 on you want me? I'm adding a little garlic powder, you slept. No, I didn't sleep with a man. I was doing my makeup uh this morning and I put my eyelashes on and got a little glue on my contact, and so that's what happened. I ain't sleeping, on. I just had got a little glue on there and I got it off. But it must be some still behind it or something. Okay, so you got that, right? Seasoning, the garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning. You can throw you some seasoning salt if you want to. I'm going to put a little Obey seasoning because, I mean, it's fish. So, hey, that'll be good, too. Put a little Obey. Okay, and that's it. All right. So, now then I'm going to take a little, you know, flour, too. I got some self-rising flour, y'all. So, I'm going to put a little flour in there. And, you know, that's just a binder to help bind it all together. You're going to take your onion and cut it up and add it in there as well. Get my pan on. That way it could be heating up. And you're going to need you some cooking oil. Any kind that you want to use, it's up to you. But I got me some, just some regular vegetable canola one on. Okay, so get my onion. And I'm just going to dice my onion up. And uh, I ain't want to pull out no whole cutting board just for one onion. A small one at that. You little salmon patties. And cheese grease, yes. I love it, but I also love it with rice, too. Good morning, Sister Fanny. Good morning, Caitlin. Okay, so got the... I think I'm going to use the rest of this onion hell, honey. Yeah, no. Good morning, Lolita. Good morning. Hold up. Somebody. Good morning, big baby. Anybody else came in here that I did not speak to? Welcome, everybody that's here. I thank y'all for coming. If you was new, I am Tiana. I'm going to be me. I have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. That is pinned right above in this comment section in the blue, y'all. One thing I do is hit that link and go right to that channel. And I ask that y'all go over there and show my second channel some love. Yes, with cabbage and... Hold on. Yes, with rice, cabbage, and, and fat back. Girl... Listen, I ain't never had it with the cabbage, but I love it with the rice. I ain't going to tell no lie with some hot sauce on it. Ooh, child, and that rice must be buttery, okay? It's a must that the rice be buttery. All right, so now, what you're going to do is... You're going to mix all this up together, just like as if you was doing meatloaf or hamburger patties or something like that. Some people like uh syrup on their salmon croquettes and stuff. I don't do I don't do all the syrup and all that stuff, but it is good though. I prefer the hot sauce. And before I started actually eating it with grits, 
because I used to eat mines with rice all the time. I ain't know nothing about the grits, you know, with it. You know, I, I just didn't know. I just didn't know. I ain't, I ain't think it was going to be, a, you know. I, I guess I didn't think it was just going to be like just regular fish and grits. Because really, that's just what it tastes like when you eat with grits. So mix all that together. All your seasonings and everything. So now, what you're going to do is, you're going to come on over here to the stove. Oh, I ain't got no pepper to this. Hold up. Let me add me a little black pepper. Good morning, Miss Marsha. So you want it to uh, hold the shape when you get to frying it. You want it where when you pat it, it's gonna hold the shape like that. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna get on over here to the stove. I'm gonna leave my onion pot out because I'm gonna need that for my eggs. Okay. We're gonna get right on this side since the eye, since since the pan is that small. Good morning, Daily Daisy. Good, welcome to the family. All right, so my grits, get that turned down. They already thickened up and stuff. And so now, let me get my milk over here. I'm gonna get my milk. Somebody had eggs. Uh, I was making some, and it was like, oh, the almond milk ain't gonna make it sweet. No, because this is original, not sweet almond milk. What kind of, what? I'm probably gonna have cereal. <laughs> you gonna have you some cereal. Well, that's all right. Everybody don't feel like cooking, but I'm just here to show you how to make you some salmon croquettes with you some grits and eggs, baby. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper to that. And a little bit more salt. And that's in there. Oh, bass. No, it is good. Yes, it is, Caitlin. I love bass, too. I can't say I got a favorite, though. Honey, in a way, um, in, in in a kind of way, in a kind of way, fish is fish to me, kind of y'all. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your little oil. You don't want it just swimming in oil. You just want your enough oil to fry it in. So that was just enough to cover the bottom, but barely. Because you don't want it, like I said, you don't want it swimming in the oil. It don't take all that much oil to fry a salmon croquette. So we're going to let that come up to temperature. And while we're waiting on that... I'm just gonna go ahead on and start cracking my eggs for these uh my eggs for um crack my eggs to my for for nothing just crack eggs. Good morning, GE. Salmon patties are good on top of biscuits with sweet peas poured on top. What? I ain't never had that. I gotta get me some more eggs. And I'm gonna add me a little onion powder. It's not gonna make it taste like onion eggs and then like that. It's just give it a good flavor. And some salt. Good morning, Miss Lynette. And some black pepper. Just like that. And I like to whoop my eggs a lot. All right, so my pan is smell like it's getting ready. It seems like it's ready. Crack the eggs like a pro. Okay, look, I've been doing that for so long. I taught myself that back when I was in um, middle school to crack with one hand. It's top notch. <laughs> no milk in your eggs. Oh, no, ma'am, Davisha. I don't, I don't like the milk in the eggs. Remember when I was telling y'all about that wet, that wet, like, see, that's, that, see, all, all that run together with me. Them, uh, that casserole and that wetness of the egg and stuff like that. See, the, the, um, something about milk and eggs, it give it too much wetness to me, even after it's been cooked. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't really care for it. But if I had to use it, I'm not going to say I don't use it. But if I had to because I need to stretch my eggs, then I will. And y'all know I like to beat my eggs a little extra. I got to say that every time. Because somebody be like, why is she just said it's stirring up eggs? Because I like to beat my eggs for a long time to um give them that. Put that, get that air up in them. You know how when you go to the Waffle House, they be putting them eggs in the little blender thing and they blend it? Okay, that's 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 what they be doing and, you know, give it that fluffiness that they they need and stuff. Macro in a can with grits, eggs, and homemade biscuits. Mm-hmm, because some people like they uh, macro with, um, they like they macro with, um, uh, is it raining in y'all area? It's been raining here since yesterday, y'all. But um, some people like they 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 macro with uh syrup. Do I put half and half or evaporated milk in my grits? It's just regular milk. Just regular milk. You ain't got to have all that extraness. If I got some, honey, if I got half and half and I ain't got regular, it's going in there. If I got evaporated and ain't got, you know what I'm saying? It's going to go in there. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picky like that, y'all. I'm not. As long as it tastes good. Okay. As long as it tastes good. That's all that matters. Y'all know my motto. Don't measure. Just pull and taste as you go. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my croquettes and I'm just going to spoon them right there in the pan just like that. 
You can make them bigger, whatever size that you want. I'm just trying to get more out of it. That's all. Come on, now, Grief. There's water dropping off my hand. That's what it is. Hold up. Got me running. Make sure that you smash them together so that they'll stay together and stuff. And if you want the ones that do it in your hand, that's all you got to do. It's raining in Gulfport, Mississippi. Yes, it's pour, it's it's been raining. It's not really like pouring. Okay, so let it sit there so it can get brown. You can tell when it start browning because it'll start browning around the edges. So you're going to take them, flip them over, just like that. Like I said, make sure that you keep them, smash them together so that they don't separate when they're cooking. Like mine is doing a little bit because I didn't smash them all. And like I said, you don't need all that oil. It don't take a lot of oil to cook a croquette. How long do you know to fry them? Just, just everything is already done. Only thing you really just trying to do is, um, just brown them. Get them nice and brown. Only thing that ain't done is that egg that you put up in there. not about you this person made it this worse per way or that person made it that way it's not about that everybody cooks stuff differently So you're going to get you a plate ready with you some napkins and that's what you're going to sit them on, sit it on to let it dry. You want to play the hot sauce? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Deborah. I think you was new here too, Miss Deborah Mont. Welcome to the family. Y'all welcome Miss Deborah Mont to the family. It's 30 grits back here. I like cheese in my grits, but my grandma don't, y'all. She don't like cheese in her grits. So I'm not going to add the cheese. I, I have to add my cheese after. God die. Why would you get something on your hand and me and it be hot? And you go straight from and then you go straight to your mouth. Why is that? Y'all do the same thing. You welcome, Miss Deborah. 
Thank you for coming. So my pan cooking a little faster in certain spots because I got it on this smaller eye. But these are going to take a little bit longer than what they should, but it's alright though. And like I said, your salmon croquettes can be bigger than this. I'm just stretching it on out. Some people like them big. You make them have whatever size you want, just like a, a burger. You know? Yes, I use flour and I use egg. Thank you, Miss Irene. I'm glad you're here too, cause I read a I read you know them things, them um, morning inspiration scriptures and stuff that you send me. I read that this morning to them, and so I was asking if you mind if I share those sometimes. Good morning, uh, GE. Good morning, Keisha. Who else came? Welcome all 101 of y'all. Only thing I ask y'all to do is ring the doorbell. When I say ring the doorbell, that means hit the thumbs up the like button. I thank each and every one of you that came and you did ring the doorbell. I appreciate you. That's all I ask. And I also have a second channel, y'all. The name, it's a cleaning channel, and the name of my cleaning channel is Bustle Cleaning. It's pinned right here in the comments above, y'all. I need to get that over this way. I'm trying to cook on this little eye, and and, and my my patties ain't cooking eat all all the same. Make sure y'all see how I tan 